it's another bad day. Yesterday, actually, this Pentium 4 decided uh, to die. Well, that's what happened, actually. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, all it was doing is um, when I power it on, spin the CPU fan at full maximum speed and show no signal. Now, I first thought, well, there's a RAM stick not working or so. So I switched that RAM. Um, nope, it doesn't work. Then I tried um, without the graphics. So I thought maybe this has a problem, but turned out no. It doesn't even work with the onboard ones. So uh, I decided uh, I'd take a look at the CPU. And uh, when you remember, this had a long, long time, this really bad CPU cooling setup, but it was never running hot. So I thought, I mean, maybe I cooked it, you know, with my extremely bad cooling setup. But the most ironic part is I swapped in this fan, uh, which was supposed to go on it just a couple of days earlier in it. And it, you know, worked just fine. So, I mean, the CPU fan works and everything. This is its stock cooler. <laughs> So I don't know what the hell is wrong with this. Maybe the main board is that or the CPU. I only got these two um, possibilities. So I've got here the CPU. You can see. And I mean it doesn't look bad or anything. There's nothing wrong with it. You can see. Come on focus. Pentium 4 2.66. 512. Whatever that means. Cache I believe. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame, because I, I cannot test, maybe, uh, I could figure out if the main board is that, if I had another Pentium 4, and I could put this in here and see if it works, but unfortunately, I don't have that, and, uh, overnight, I left out the CMOS battery, um, because, uh, maybe, you know, it was just a bad setting on the, uh, BIOS, but I personally don't think that. This is coming back to life now, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it does. So here we are. Final step on the CPU cooler. Push that down. I applied some new thermal paste. It was unfortunately the last one, so it might be a little bit too le uh, less, but that will not run too much anyway. So yeah. Um, now the battery. Right. Power RAM is, I believe, in properly. Yep, Let's see if it boots. Eh, doesn't look so. So, yep, there you see. Oh, holy mother of God, look at that. <laughs> we got a boot screen with the Max Data logo, so it reset the. Oh. I, I, I wasn't expecting that, guys. It did really look like the uh, the main board had a bad setting. I don't know. Now, it doesn't really scare me that this fan is spinning at maximum speed simply because uh, it has been doing that with all its fans. So, I will just quickly figure out Maybe it shows me an error message or whatever. Uh, I'm really not sure what the problem was, but it could really have been the case that when the RAM is running here in dual channel, and I had a RAM stick in here, as I told you, um, it just wouldn't boot. I don't know. So let's see if it does now. I put it in dual channel. Didn't change nothing else. Power. Yeah, full blast CPU fan, here we go. But we got a signal. Going to... I see, DDR dual channel. So that looks good. But that CPU fan is so annoying, holy crap. Oh, and I finally found the setting, it was on the power. And then this fan is running at 6,100 RPMs. As you can see, <laughs> this is un 
this is cooled really really good <laughs> what I'll do now is I'll put this sticker frame in the last slot and um, then see if it boots and if not that kinda was the problem but it still doesn't make sense and it was just working fine for a long time so once again RAM is in power and it works so doesn't make sense so I think the first time removing the CMOS battery for a night helped because I did the same stuff I showed you on camera yesterday off camera just with taking out graphics card and other stuff but what the hell so we got uh, one DDR stick running in single channel or yeah there it says and two sticks running in dual channel so yeah it doesn't matter actually it has got 1528 max of RAM which is good I cannot believe that there's no auto mode to set this annoying fan down because I don't have a chassis fan because it doesn't require one um, I don't know it just is disabled why would I disable it uh, CPU temperature disabled <laughs> I don't know. The worst case, I'll just set it down in speed fan in Windows, and then it's more quiet. But I'm just right now. I'm happy to see this running again. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. So this is just a little discussion clip, and I think I now know why it did not boot in the first place. Um, I thought I might test the one RAM slot that was empty and I put in there an, a stick and it booted and I was like what the hell and then that, that is, the, that is the, 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 the interesting stuff I put in a different RAM stick and it was the 512 the original one that I got with this mainboard and BAM it did not boot and it was just doing the same stuff like it did yesterday so I thought hmm Maybe this one RAM slot doesn't like this particular RAM. So I put in a different RAM once again and it booted. So I I don't know what's the deal, but I put the 512 mag in the very first slot, like I did in the beginning, then the one gig and then the second one gig. And it just works. So I, I think this one RAM stick uh, doesn't like the precision or it doesn't like being run, uh, or it doesn't like uh, single channel alone or whatever. Uh, it doesn't make sense for me. But now it works, and I don't care if uh, when I now know when I switch RAM around and it doesn't boot, I probably know what was the deal. So, yeah, thank you again for watching. I'm happy to see this machine back, uh, back at life to life, whatever, <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you in the next video, guys.